saying happy Monday? Are you saying happy Monday? <laughs> happy Monday, everybody. It's a beautiful morning. I just checked the weather and it said it's, it said it's 37 right now. It feels warmer. <laughs> it's supposed to be 60 today. I see a lot of ball playing in your future today. Yes, I do. I see a lot of ball playing today. It's going to be 60 degrees. <laughs> the boys are so happy that the snow is gone. You can roll around in the grass again, Magnum. Yes. Are you so happy, Magnum? Are you so happy? I was looking for a... Um, him a new goose because his goose got destroyed in the winter weather and they didn't have any so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out I got one in the house I could bring that out here and there's stick they like I took in the house too this winter so it wouldn't get ruined a subscriber sent they love that stick we need to bring your stick out and your goose <laughs> yes there's gonna be a lot of ball playing today Mozzie went to the vet. He went to the Animal Surgical Center to get blood work and a urine test. Um, and they um, they always look him over, kind of do a light, little exam, and his blood pressure was high today. Um, so they kept him in there for a little bit to take a couple readings, and it was staying it was staying high. Um, so it wasn't like it was a false reading because he was nervous or anything. So we're starting Mozzie on another medication, Mozzie. You've got so many medications, Mazzy. Um, so she started him on a blood pressure medication. I'll have to go in it. I don't know the name of it. Um, I've got to cut him up too because he only gets a half a pill. So I'm going to cut those up. So I'll show you what he's taking. So now he takes six pills. Yes, six pills, Mazzy. <laughs> Here, let me kick your ball, Mickey. Um, well, one is a supplement, so but it's still a pill he, that he still has to take. She said he looks wonderful otherwise. I don't know the results of his blood work yet because I think they're getting sent away. So um, she's going to call me when those come in. I don't know if I'll know the urine test today either. Not sure. Um, so uh, she said the urine, because remember, I think in my last video, I was, I was saying I needed to check on that. The high protein in the urine can be caused from the Cushing's and the... High blood pressure, blood pressure can also be from the Cushing. So, um, she may have to adjust the medication he's taken for his urine. Um, she may have to up it, depending on what the results are. Um, so, yeah, let's just wait and see. Wait and see if we got to adjust anything else. But she said he looks wonderful otherwise. And he, and he, um, he doesn't seem to be having any problems he acts like a normal pup she said she didn't hear his heart murmur this time because he had a low grade heart murmur but she said she couldn't she couldn't hear it this time so i don't know can they go away i don't know i didn't even think to ask her that <laughs> but yeah he's doing wonderful otherwise um we just got to keep him on some medications and keep adjusting them as we need them yeah so um i'm going to get my landmine duty pick uh done and We'll go in and I'll show you the new medication he's on. And thankfully it wasn't too expensive. It was only 20 bucks for, I don't know if it was 15 pills or 20 or 30, not sure. So, all right guys, I'll be back in a second. All right, I just got done cutting up Mozzie's new medication and let me check to make sure my phone number is not on here. It don't look like it, but here's his new medication. I don't know if this is going to focus. If, if it doesn't look like you can read it when I'm watching this back, I'll tape it on the screen. But here it is. It's a 2.5 milligram a pill, and he's got to take it twice a day. So um, I already gave him one dosage about, oh, it's been about an hour and a half now. And he seems to be okay. I figure within an hour, um, if he was going to have any kind of weird reaction, he would have had it by now. But I'm going to keep an eye on him all throughout the day. So that is Mozzie's new pill to add to his many others. <laughs> These pills were very, they're very tiny. 
and they were very hard to cut with the pill cutter. Um, if you've never had to cut up pills and don't and never had one of these pill cutters, you can get them at the pharmacy. Um, it's just like a razor blade. You sit the pill in here and then when you push this down, a plastic piece moves and then the razor blade comes and um, snaps it in half. Well, these pills are not scored. And every time I was coming down to cut the pill, when I cut it, it would want, it would almost like slide off the pill. And this is a new one I just opened because I thought it was because this one I've had for a while. Um, I thought maybe the razor blade was going dull, but my brand new one I just opened is doing the same darn thing. And I was getting so frustrated, <laughs> so frustrated that I only did a few of them and thought, you know what, I'm just going to cut them on the day I have to give it to them. So if one slides and then it's a powdery mess, I can just leave the smaller piece and the powdery mess in here and then just kind of dump it all on the piece of cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. It, it drives me nuts because I'm OCD anyway, so so I like everything even. I have a problem with that. Like, I just need everything even. My pictures have to see, be even. Um, things like on my, like that are in my window decor, it has to be even and spaced right. I just, I'm weird that way. Cutting pills, they have to be even. It, especially because you want the dosage to be right when because when you're cutting them you want it to be the same dosage you're getting in the morning and night <laughs> and I was getting so frustrated and upset that these pills were not breaking right um I may call the vet and say hey do you have a better tool that you use to cut pills because I may need to get these and have you cut them so that way they're the proper dosage I'm giving him because this thing is just terrible. And this is the only thing I've ever seen at the pharmacy to cut pills. So if you guys know something different, let me know in the comments, but I think this is it. I think this is it. So I may call and ask him. <laughs> all right, enough with my OCD problems. I'm going to, I washed all the boys' faces, um, brushed their hair. I finally found my wet brush uh, for dogs. I've talked about this in a video a long time ago at our house before this one. Um, if you know the wet brush for um, for um, us, well, they have one for dogs too, and this is wonderful. Unless your dog's beard is really matted, um, this ain't gonna probably work good. You're gonna need a slicker brush or um, a metal comb to get through the uh, mats. But if you brush your dog's beard regularly and they're not matted, this thing is wonderful when they're wet to brush their beards out and I finally found it. I thought I lost it and I was looking at PetSmart for a new one and then a couple days later I found it. So I was so excited. But yes, everybody's cleaned up and I'm gonna get them outside. I'm gonna find Magnum's goose has in here so we can take it outside and play. And I'm gonna find that rubber stick too that someone had sent us. The boys love that. I'm gonna find that to take outside too since uh, I think the pretty nasty part of the weather in the winter is gone. It may still snow here again because we have snow showers sometimes in April. Let's pray and, and keep our fingers crossed we don't, but I think I'm going to get those and take them outside for them because Magnum loves that goose outside. So let me find that and get the boys outside. All right, let's go take Magnum. Your goose. I got your goose and a stick. I got your goose and a stick, Magnum. He's like, what? What do you got? Look what I got, Magnum. I got your goose. I got your goose goose. Do you want it? Oh, Milo does. <laughs> you want your goose goose? You don't care right now? I think he's going to get it. Milo, I got the stick too. I got the stick, Milo. Things are sawing out with these footprints. The ground is thawing out. It's getting wet. We still have snow up here. The sun is slowly moving to where it's over this way more. That means summer's coming because usually in the summer, late spring, early summer, this whole spot right here, this way, will have sunshine on it. So slowly the sun is moving over. It's supposed to be, I don't know what the temp is right now. I'll have to look when I get off my phone. Tomorrow it's supposed to be uh, 62 again, so hopefully most of the snow will be gone. This is all that's really left back here. 
there's some over here still. Were you sneezing? Did you get dirt up your nose? <laughs> yeah, there's still just a little bit of uh, snow over here too. It's windy today. That's good though because it'll it'll dry up the um, ground. So yeah, so there's your goose and stick. You got some more toys out here. It's even nice in the shade. <laughs> Usually the shade it's freezing and then you step out into the sun it feels good but even in the shade, it feels good today. Perfect hoodie weather. Perfect hoodie weather. I'm sure I'll see some people out with t-shirts on. <laughs> Gets up to 60 here in Michigan. People think it's time to break out the shorts. The shorts and the t-shirts. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope everybody had a great Monday. I'm going to get going. Mr. Grant is in bed. He was snoozing. He didn't want to come out. So, um, yeah, he's just snoozing away. Emily, our... Um, friend Emily who watches the channel got all the boys memory foam uh, beds for their crates and they love them so thank you so much Emily yes they love them especially Mr. Grant <laughs> he gets comfortable in there and he's just out I'll even kind of tap his crate like you want to come out and he, he don't even hear me <laughs> he's just out so thank you Emily for the uh, beds boys love them all right guys talk to you guys again soon Bye-bye.